All right, y'all. It's been a couple days since I've been fishing, but uh, it is four o'clock in the afternoon. So let's see if we can get any bites. I know it's kind of late in the day to be out here bass fishing, but this part of the river has a lot of shade out of overhung trees and everything. So I'm out here, see if we can get any bites and uh, see if we can get on some fish. I'll get back to you. All right, guys. I already paddled back a couple hundred, couple hundred yards actually, and uh, gonna start fishing here. Gonna go down a little bit more and start fishing some more down there. You know, right now, I'm just throwing around the cinco. Um, might tie on a jig or maybe a cross, a craw style plastic, craw style plastic, and uh, see if I can get any bites. I was getting some bites right here, right before I turned on the camera, but I'm guessing they're a bluegill because they, I couldn't hook them, you know what I mean? It's getting to be that time of year. I wonder what it's going to be like recording out here, man, because these GoPros, they overheat, they overheat pretty easy, man. Oh, no, still got him. Still got it. Still got it. I thought he dropped it. I thought he dropped it. Let me turn around and get away from these trees. A fish is a fish. Check him out. Get him unhooked. Check him out. This is a nice, good sized little bass. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy to brag about, but my first fish in a, pretty much in almost a week already. Back to where you came from, boy. Back in the shadows. Like I said, it is a hundred and something degrees out here, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be focusing, you know, on these overhung trees and on the bank, cause. Uh, yeah, these fish ain't gonna wanna be swimming around in the sun right now. Too damn hot for them. It's almost too damn hot for me, shoot. <laughs> All right, guys, I haven't had any more bites, but uh, I think I'm gonna paddle back a, a little bit more, maybe a another couple hundred yards. Cause uh, to my left is an RV park, and to my right is uh, what seems to be just somebody's house, you know, private property. And they got a little pier, a little dock right there, so I'm sure they fish and swim and all that stuff through here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pedal back another couple hundred yards and then start to fish again. Uh, I'll get back to you on a bit. Little guy. <laughs> I just wanna get you unhooked and back in the water, little guy. I ain't gonna do nothing to you. There, little bass, little battle scar, maybe a bigger fish, maybe a gar or something. Tried to eat him when he was younger, smaller. Boom. I probably only paddled maybe 50 yards from that RV park, but right now I'm throwing that brim colored Cinco by, by Yum, so they just can't resist it. I don't know what it is, man. There's a little blue color on the bottom, a little green pumpkin on top. But just a little bit of of, of blue blue glitter and some black specks in there. I've never gone this far back. Last time I came, I've, this is barely going to be my second time coming down river from the, this one spot. So uh, the first time I came back here, once I reached that RV park, I had fished, you know, from where I got into the water all the way to that RV park. And I was... Picking apart the river, guys, both sides, left and right, picking it apart, gotcha. And nothing, I didn't get any bites, so once I reached that RV park, I turned around, went back to the car, and went home. But... So, now this time that I'm going a little farther, maybe, let's see if it's worth it or not. Pff. 
Bird's nest from hell. Boom. I got a little fish on. Can't tell if it's a fish or some branches, maybe some grass. Find a little bit of tension, but not any pulling. Oh no, that's a fish. Good size bass, but god. He swallowed it, guys. I waited too long to set that hook. I couldn't tell if I was wrapped around a branch or if I actually had a fish on it. I waited too long and he swallowed it. Waited way too freaking long. Get rid of the sinkhole, get the sinkhole out of there. Man, and it sucks because I don't have my pliers. I don't know if y'all can see in there where he swallowed that hook. I don't have my pliers, but I do have some scissors, so I'm gonna see if those work. I'm gonna try super damn hard not to cut his gills with these scissors. Ah, oh, I just ended up cutting the damn line. But since I cut the line, I'll just do this. Come on, guy. Let me get it out of you. Let me get it out of you. See if he swims off. Let's see if he kicks. He did swallow it and it came out. The tip of the hook was in his stomach, but it came out the end of his gills. So since I cut the line, I was able to just pull the, the hook straight out. So now we're gonna see if he swims off, if he kicks or anything. But his fins are moving. There you go. He's getting some. Getting some energy, I can feel him. I can feel it. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Yeah, he took off. Straight down. Turn the kayak around, make sure he doesn't float up on the other side. And I can't see him at all. All right, guys. Let me retire and let's get back to fishing. All right, guys, we're going to switch it up a little bit. What I got tied on here is uh, Blue Baby uh, Kraken Craw by the Guggen Squad. And the reason why I'm throwing around this one is because it kind of resembles that, that brim-colored sinkhole that I'm throwing around by Yum. It has a green pumpkin on top and kind of like a, like a bluish, kind of like a bluish silver on the bottom. And it doesn't have that much action, only that the only action here is, is in these appendages because these don't really do much. But yeah, gonna flip it around these trees and uh, see if I get any bites. I might be, I might get hung up. A, I might get hung up a little bit more with this one. So, uh, let's just pray I don't lose it. <laughs> what 
What I do pretty much with every cross style bait that I use, I'll toss it out. I'll let it sink a little bit. Sometimes I'll let it sink all the way to the bottom. I'll completely slack line until it just stops sinking. And then I'll just a couple quick pops, a couple quick twitches, let it sink again. Another couple twitches, let it sink again. And that's pretty much what I do with every single cross style plastic that I use. Either that or I use it as a trailer for the... Oh, man. That felt like a big bite. That felt like a big, big bite. Let's, let's get back in. Oh, my God. Just barely bury the tip of that hook into the plastic. See if whatever it was to see if I can get it to bite again because who knows since I'm fishing pretty much the bottom with this it could have been a catfish or it could have been a pretty big bass but that was a bite that was not a, a branch or a twig or anything I guess I just had the tip of that hook buried too much into the plastic and it didn't really it didn't really get to pin him Oh, damn it. After picking the part, that part where I got that real good bite, I mean, I couldn't get it to bite again. Whatever it was, I couldn't get it to bite again. And uh, I haven't been able to get a bite in about an hour already either. So, you're probably going to fish for maybe like five more minutes and then just turn around and head back towards the car, head back home. So, uh, Just gonna throw this sinkhole around for a little bit. Maybe a couple more feet and then turn around and head back towards the car. So I'll, I'll get back to y'all if I get another fish or I'll get back to y'all for the ending of the video. We'll see what comes first. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Heading back towards the car. Gonna get out the water, tie the kayak up and head on home. But before we cut the video off, I just wanted to send out a quick thank you to all my friends and family. Still showing love, still showing support from the small town fishing fam to you guys. We appreciate you. We appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.